hello 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 ladies and gentlemen how you all doing hope you guys are doing great okay guys for those of you who are new i'm called julian welcome to our channel and please make sure you hit the subscription button and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video so guys in today's video i'll be talking about what motherhood has taught me my god <laughs> so guys um i'm gonna uh, begin by uh defining motherhood okay motherhood is a state of being a mother a person enters motherhood when they become a mother this most commonly happens when their child is born but it can also happen through adoption or by marrying or becoming a mother to someone with with, with to someone with uh, children my god you guys had the definition of motherhood it's not an easy joke my god it's not a joke not be joke not be bonbon it's not biscuit hey jesus but <laughs> the grace of god is there to see you through yes okay guys um the very first point i have here is patient and tolerant motherhood has taught me to be patient and be tolerant me i'm not a patient type i am not a patient type but motherhood has raised my patient level so like someone like me my when i my very first um my very first uh, uh children were they were twin i had to when i started giving bed rather when i started giving bed i had a uh, twin they were twin so it was not easy you can imagine <laughs> you have to you get up in the middle of the night everybody's just crying at the same time they just get up in the middle of the night they're crying at the same time you're not even done feeding this one or breastfeeding this one the other one is crying sometimes they just become naughty sometimes they are naughty they have or they are hyper they have mood swing just a lot is going you have to be patient everything that has to do with kids everything that has to do with children everything around them you have to be patient when handling kids you have to be patient you know especially as they, they are very fragile people so you have to be patient so with my own case it was not easy i had twin i gave birth to twin boy and a girl it was not easy but my level of patient rise up increased because of that and in terms of tolerance my god it taught me a lot and I had to when I when I when I it got to a point where I I had to I babysit a, a friend I had to babysit my friend a uh, child I babysit the child I was able to even babysit because I've, I already have that experience if not it's not easy it's really not easy so I had to tolerate I was able to tolerate a lot of things everything that child was doing I understood I tolerated it a lot because i've been a mother i've been a mother not even a mother of I've raised two or, or or kids at the same time breastfeed them at the same time so i understand it's, it's, it's a whole lot it's a whole lot so sometimes it's even <laughs> it's good when you take your, your 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 kid to um another mother or another woman to babysit or a woman that has given you know that has you know has experience caring for kids because we'll have that patient and that tolerant attitude i was able to tolerate 
my uh, friends or chai i had to look after the child and while she's at work yes so motherhood has taught me that it taught me a lot to be patient and to be tolerant okay guys so the next point which i'm going to be bringing is communication motherhood taught me a lot taught me how to communicate especially when the kids are around you know those words right i know what to say what not to say all the kids around you know try to avoid some there's some words like you know those f words and all those kind of words you don't want to those adult talk you know you don't want to say them when the kids are around sometimes you may want to even say something and i have to scan around i have to look around who is the help they are not you know that is what <laughs> motherhood <laughs> can do so i become so I'm just so alert to have to you know before whatever comes out of my mouth because people the kids they learn a lot they learn very fast whatever you say they might repeat it they repeat it you know something without even knowing the meaning yes so I've learned a lot about on communication and know what to say and what not to say so you, you want to mind what you're saying around your kids yes and also um the next thing that the next thing that um uh, motherhood has taught me is being prayerful You know, before having, before I started having kids, I was just, you know, just living my life like that. Anyhow, anyhow, you know, just myself, just doing anyhow. But when I started having kids, before I discover, my knees are on the ground. My knees are on the ground. There was even a time I had a lot of challenge. My son had to go through operation. I prayed. That was the first time I I saw myself praying. I prayed like what? Hey God, I'll be calling my sister, calling my my, 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 my brother. Please let's pray and fast. This child has to undergo operation. Please let's pray and fast. They have said like this. I'll call the pastor. Please try to you know some of those people that I that that are prayerful. I try to you know to um pray. I mean take charge. So that is what mother who can do. It will bring the other side of you. I have become a prayer warrior just being a mother. <laughs> I'm not a prayer warrior. I'll pray when they are going for their exam. I'll pray everything that they are going out of the house. I'll pray. I'll say, God, keep my children, protect them. Let nothing happen to them. Take them. Your word says, and so on. So take them out and bring them back. I'll cover them with the blood of Jesus. I'll quote scriptures, Bibles on them. My God, you, 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 before you know, before you know it, right, you're already into it, before you discover it, whether you like it or not, whether you like it or not, before you know it, you will find yourself, so I've been prayerful, because I don't believe you want anything bad for your kids, yes, yeah, so you have to take charge, especially us like mothers, whatever you say is so powerful, so we take our words, our kids are so you take charge declare positive things over their life declare those good things over their life you know their destiny is kind of like also in you have a part to play in their destiny so yeah you have to be at the place of prayer to make sure that they succeed in everything that they are doing you have to be at the place of prayer i discovered that in motherhood and I was on my knees every now and then. I was on my knees praying, praying, begging on God. Especially when there was there were a lot of times that there were challenges. They had challenges. So I would pray on see. Yes, mother who taught me that. Okay, guys. I pray and fast, pray and fast. <laughs> the next thing that mother who taught me is... Um, Wow, how to save and invest. How to save and invest. 
before you want to save money for your kids before you discover or you know getting all those things there were some things that i was just you know when i was younger when i was alone i'll just be buying buying buy surplus buy this buy that but that when i was still having my kids i say hey i have to plan for their future hey they got to go to school i want them to go to the best school and how would they get, go to that school is by me right saving money now saving money and working hard for the for for, for, for them for their future so i went i opened a bank account not even one remember they, they, are, they are twin I open I have to open two bank accounts so whatever I'm doing is double if I go to the store I'm buying shoes I'm buying for two of them one for the boy one for the gay whatever I'm doing I'm buying buy so I need money <laughs> I need to save I need to plan well for them so it was kind of like heavy it's kind of a little bit different like somebody was raising up one kid yeah you know raising up two kids it's 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 not a bonbon even their food their milk their formula it gets finished so fast we keep buying before we know in the middle of the week is gone we have to rush back to the store and buy again and buy again so you want to save money i cut down on a lot of stuff and saving money i went i opened a bank account for them i started dropping you no know, something little 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 their money when people come and visit them People give them money a lot when they see twins. You know, people they are excited when they see twins. When they see triplet, they want to bless and some want to take the blessing. They want to pour into their life. They want to tap. So their money was coming in. They put it, open an account and put it for. They said, "This is your money. They could grow, grow up. I'm gonna hand this to you guys. I open up a bank account for them for that." It taught me to save money to invest i started looking for things to invest how can i invest that will bring me return yes guys um the next thing that um the next thing that motherhood taught me is multitasking guys <laughs> you should, if you're a woman once you once if you're you, you become if you're a mother you automatically have that skill you have the skill it comes like that it seems like we have been programmed to operate like that you're you're, you're, you're cooking you're watching the baby you're changing either you're changing diapers you're feeding, you're cleaning the house, you're attending to other kids, you're attending to your husband, you're on the prayer. Sometimes I, I'm on the prayer, prayer line, I connect on the prayer, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm speaking in tongues, I'm praying, Lord Jesus, I'm praying, I'm cooking pot is on the fire. I'm looking at my time, I have to go to work. I'm looking at the baby, probably the baby is wet, baby has poop. I have to check on the baby. All of that, multi taxi. Whether you like it or not, it comes like that. That is what the, that motherhood taught me how to multitask. It's, it's so it's so nice. It's so it's so nice. It's nice. Trust me. That feeling. It's it's a beautiful thing. It's really a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Something for us all to experience. So um. The next thing that motherhood taught me is it taught me to be a teacher you know they say um they say um learning learning begins from home right uh -huh. so your kids they start learning from you right from home their first words from home you teaching them manners how to behave in public how to behave when somebody gives them something if they come across a stranger all of those things you're telling your kid that is teaching you're teaching them you are assisting them with their with their work their school work it's teaching you're teaching you teach them how to count you teach them or how to you know say their alphabet and all those stuff you become a teacher you are their first teacher yes you are their first teacher. 
so it taught me to become a teacher so i can guys i can go now apply for a teaching job <laughs> i can go and apply for a teaching job <laughs> oh my god this motherhood thing eh? so beautiful <laughs> it's a learning process guys i'm still learning you know it has taught me a lot which is and it's still teaching me it's something that's a continuous learning keep learning keep learning keep an open mind keep learning new things new ideas girl so um the next thing that mother who taught me it has developed my time my time management skills my time management skills motherhood has developed it developed my time management skills i had i i have four kids it's it's not easy to manage them and they go to different schools i have to manage that i have to i plan that already this one is picked up at this time at this time this one is being picked up at eight o'clock at this one 7 30. so i have to manage a lot of things you have to manage their transportation how they're gonna go to school i have to manage get up early in the morning prepare their breakfast i have to make sure they go to bed early so that they'll be able to wake up early in the morning so they'll not be late early to, early to bed early to rise i have to take them to the doctor's appointment all of that has to be planned you have to cook i have to take them to extracurricular activities some of them are into soccer some are into one or two other uh, 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 karate so i have to take them to all those this thing so kind of like there was a time actually there was a time that i was uh their father was not around and for a couple of years uh i was just i was with by them i was just with them um for a couple of uh, for years so i was the father i acted the father i acted as a mother i mean basically a single mom can you imagine it's not easy it's not easy in america find out <laughs> it was not easy and even now it's still not easy you don't have a life it's a job it's a job on its own you know it's that that alone is a job on its own but i was able to manage it and then still have a full-time job to have a full-time job because i need to pay my bills i have needs i need money <laughs> to run about the activities to feed them to go shopping for them wow motherhood <laughs> you have to oh uh, sometimes i have to pick and drop pick and drop they have bed days friends have bed days pick drop they have after school program they stay back so the school boss is not going to drop them off somebody has to pick them up I, sometimes if i'm at work i have to call check who is around check on a friend my brother whoever please can you help me pick up the kids can you pick them and drop them sometimes if there's none me god i just have to like you know go with the uh, um how do they call it private uh, this thing private transportation or uh, uber taxi and those stuff yes so also um the next thing that motherhood taught me it has taught me to become a nurse or i say a nurse or a doctor <laughs> motherhood has taught me it has developed my interest it, it developed my interest for nursing career I started looking in. 
into going i was looking at going into nursing because of that my god you won't believe it you won't believe it it's it has uh, taught me a lot a lot you have to you know sometimes you act as the nurse for your kids I never knew how to take out uh, these are some vital signs but when I started having kids I have to learn them I have my make sure I have my thermometer I have my let me say first aid at home in case of anything in the night and all those stuff you know I have my first aid I went in I was interested in uh, learning now uh, this uh, CPR for especially for kids Yes, you know, there's a sleepy arrow for adults and kids. I put my interest more on your kids in case your kids is having any issue choking on or anything. You know what to do first before you're calling the, the uh, 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 paramedics, right? You know what to do first before you're calling the emergency to come and help. So I learned those skills how to take temperature. I learned some, uh, you know, what to take when there's fever. If I sometimes I use my instinct, I suspect that if I look at, look at the child, like that's say probably, you know, let me, you know, I go with my instinct. And benefit of doubt, I'm still, I'm still going to take the child to the doctor because I'm not an, you know, I'm not an expert. I'm not a, uh, this, a trained, uh, this thing. So I take the child to the doctor, to the pediatrician. And what... The doctor is gonna say it's already is similar to what I already uh, for what I I had already uh, foresee that that was the issue. So how you see me? I'll be searching for this medication works for what was the best med i'll be looking for a lot of information information i'm always like it's always like want to learn want to learn more i even times i'll even go into uh, 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 there are some groups there are some forums parents for new mom and all those stuff i'll go there i want to learn i want to research or ask my question i'll find out those information i'll be searching searching a lot of things you know wanting to know what should i Take, what should I give my baby at this time and all those stuff guys <laughs> it's so it's awesome it's awesome yes also um the next thing I'll be talking about that the uh, mother would have taught me is self care it has taught me to take care of myself my mental health yes especially you know if you don't take care of yourself if you have you break down who is gonna take care of your kids so I try as much as to have enough rest to create time for myself to have a cool head because I'm always thinking like, oh God, let nothing, I want to be there, I want to be for my kids, I want to be there for them, let, 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 let me be, keep me, keep me, protect me, keep, give me a good health, divine health, you know, so all of those stuff. Will make me to look into my mental health mental health is real it's real it's real it's real mental health is real especially for new or um for you know especially for women who just uh, recently gave birth sleepless night you are stressed off sometimes you really need help you just need somebody to just take the baby and go just take the times that I'll even I'll literally cry <laughs> <laughs> I need some rest. I need rest. I need someone come and take this baby. Let me sleep. I've gone for a day. You know, sleeping. <laughs> so I need to rest. I need my sleep. My sleep is so important. I don't play with my sleep anymore. Please come get this baby. <laughs> let me let me have some rest. 
<laughs> let me rest well then I'll, I'll be able to take care of of you okay baby because right now i'm feeling sleepy you two you are there with your own issue so <laughs> it has taught me to take good care of myself my mental health everything all around care of myself yeah so that i'll be strong i'll be active for my children yes and the next thing that motherhood has taught me is uh, being a uh, super protective I'm just so protective of my kids if I go out I'm at work once I end the day I just I keep looking at the time I can't wait for my the, the, first, the, the next person the person who is coming my relief to come so I can go first thing is in my mind is my home I'm going to my home I want to go see my kids I want to go see I've been talking with them all I call I check on the how you guys how you guys doing it but I just want to go home let me go home for my kids and sometimes even I, I just feel like being around them all through all around I don't want to even going to work seems, seems, seems like I'm regretting I don't I just feel like I should just be there I mean just be there watching over them looking at them playing with them you just, you just you discover that you just want to become become so super you know protective of your kid i'll be moving around the house making sure that there's no um like i have a small one year old right now i'll be going around the house that's how i stay productive <laughs> at home that's how i stay productive. i'll be going around Picking any sharp object, anything that can be harmful, harmful to the baby, anything that the baby can swallow, I'll pick, pick anything. I'll just be, I'll be moving and looking on the floor, make sure there's no water, there's no water on the floor for the baby to, so that the baby can make the baby to sleep over. That is what I'm talking about. I just want to be protective. I don't want anything. I don't even, don't even want. I don't even want the baby to. No, 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 no. Don't even cry. I don't want the baby to cry. I just want to see you keep just smiling. Just be smiling. You have that beautiful smile, girl. You have that smile, boy. So I just want to keep seeing them, being happy, checking on them, running behind them. Oh my God! Become so, so, so super. Protective. They are going somewhere to friends. I want to, you know, know what time they're coming. Who's gonna drop them off? Who's gonna pick them? I sometimes I even want to be there. I was like, I would like to come. Even sometimes they will tell me, no, mom, it's for kids. You don't need to be here. I said, but that's fine. Let me. I just want to come and hang. Let me just hang around. I'll sit in my car and then I'll be watching you guys from this. I said, oh, mom, you worry too much. I said, <laughs> oh my God motherhood hmm. okay so the next point i'm talking about love 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 it's taught me love unconditional love <sighs> that's made me motherhood has made me to develop oh my god that love love for kids love for my kid love for kids sometimes I feel bad when I move around and I see kids who are orphans. Before it was not occurring to me. I don't care. I give it damn. But now I can't stand it when I see it. I just feel like oh my god, I feel bad. I just try to put myself in that situation. I try to fit myself in that uh, uh, person's shoe. I say oh god, no parents, orphans. I just imagine. I just imagine what that child is going through with no parents nothing nothing oh my god even if you have everything at your disposal just the fact that you don't have somebody to call like this is my biological mom this is my this this is my this something when I see orphans I'm so touched I just connect immediately with them and I want to pour my all. I don't play. Yes. So guys, um, 
I've come today. This is part one. I've come to the end of the video for today. And please drop me the comment on the comment section. Tell me or what you think about the video. If there's anything in particular you want me to talk about, just let me know. Okay, guys. Bye. See you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.